Howdy boys and girls, welcome back to another stupid episode of Stupid Pedal Tricks. This time we're going to feature what I call the, where the hell to go, Stiff Hippie Overdrive. It's basically, there's nothing in this box almost. It's basically a LM386 chip with a germanium diode clipper on the output, a big honking capacitor to block the DC so it doesn't cook your amp. There's a 1K gain control between pins 1 and 8 of the LM386. And the tone control is weird because what I did was I was like, hmm, I, it was too fizzy without a tone control. And uh, I kind of liked the way it sounded when I rolled the tone control down on my guitar. So I tried putting a tone control at the end of the circuit and I just didn't like it. It just muddled it up too much. So what I found was I took a 10K pot and a .022 microfarad capacitor and uh, I hooked it up just like the tone pot and the guitar, but I connected it on parallel with the input to the chip. So you can roll off the highs and what it left behind was a surprisingly nice sounding little pedal. Let's turn it on and see what it sounds like. Here's a guitar without it. That's on with the, uh, this is the overdrive, that's all the way off. Tone control halfway up is the volume. It gets loud enough, I mean, there's plenty of volume. Put it right about here. The tone control will shift it. See? It's subtle, but it's nice because once you dial in the distortion, you can like really notch it right wherever it is that you want it. So I'm gonna turn it up all the way. Now we're gonna give it some distortion. Here's halfway up. I'll play the lick. Alright, um, give you an idea of what it sounds like about halfway up. I'm gonna crank the distortion all the way now. It gets very saturated and fuzzy. Almost, almost like a metal kind of sound. But kind of fuzzy. Great sustain. I mean, for what it is, you know, being one stupid chip in a box. I'm gonna turn the tone control down so. About halfway. Gets nice and woody sound. Turn it off. And you get almost woman tone. Put it on the neck. You roll the tone down. Tone control on the pedal up. Gonna turn the gain way down now, about a uh, quarter of the way up. Turn the guitar down, it cleans up. Turn the treble back up on the guitar. Turn it way down. It doesn't really get that clean. And of course, if you crank it up with the distortion. It sounds pretty good, but you can also just use just the output of the LM386 with the distortion on minimum and use it to overdrive the snots out of your amp. 
that's true overdrive where it's actually pumping and polishing the input. Tone control doesn't do as much here, but listen to the sustain. distortion now too. You can hear like an envelope kind of shifting over the top. It's kind of neat. Turn the tone control up about three quarters of the way. Turn the guitar down some. Nice crunchy rhythm. Give it a little more nuts. You can actually play complex chords with it, it like doesn't get too much intermodulation in source, which is a nice plus. A lot of people don't really care for the 386 as a chip, you know, in terms of overdrives, because most of them sound really angular and hard and cold and dissonant. But putting that stupid little tone control just at the front of the circuit makes a huge difference in my opinion. I don't know. Um, your mileage may vary. The original Stiff Hippie battle that I had built Actually, it's funny. My buddy Bob Stern, uh, I let him borrow it to check it out. First, it blew up on him. Uh, turned out there was a cold side to join on the power supply jack to let go, so I had to fix that. So I brought it back to jam with him a week later. And this guy puts out some spikes when he's playing. I'll tell you what. Uh, he plays to a little 10-watt amp, and he gets that thing stanking. And uh, the funny thing about it was... That he got it to the point where one of the glass germanium diodes that was in it was kind of touching against the chip. He got the chip hot enough where the germanium started to overheat. When germanium gets overheated, it goes into thermal runway where it breaks down. He actually blew the diode up, which then uh, made the chip overheat to the point where on stage we started smelling this burning smell like, what the f is that, you know? And it uh, turned out it was the pedal. I took it home and uh, swapped out the diode, and it's good to go. But anyways, as usual, you got your stupid pedal here, the Stiff Hippie Model 2. You got, uh, in this case, a modified Telecaster variant. I'm Jimmy Photon. Thanks for watching. Have a, uh, a really wonderful day, and uh, as always, peace.